Now let's talk about stealing people's stuff. There are several different crimes that cover this depending on how the stealing takes place. Taking someone's stuff is larceny. For the stealing to count as larceny, you have to take it with the intent to permanently keep it from the owner. So, taking Aunt Agnes's heirloom crystal gravy boat because you want to sell it is larceny. Where taking Aunt Agnes's heirloom crystal gravy boat clubbing without her permission is not, because you plan to return it when you're done. That doesn't mean it's not a crime to borrow it without permission, but it's not as serious. Now, robbery is stealing, but where you use violence to do it. Larceny is just taking the stuff. Robbery is taking it directly from the other person, rather than just walking off with it. Burglary is theft combined with trespass on someone else's property. So if you are to enter somehow another person's property without their permission, then that's a burglary. Some places require you to actually break into the property through some force rather than just trespassing by itself. On to fraud. Fraud is stealing someone's stuff or really harming them at all through deception. So if you take something by lying that isn't yours, even if you have the owner's permission, it's fraud. There are a lot of different kinds of fraud in the world. Internet fraud, mail fraud, bank fraud, and so on. People will use incredibly complicated lies to get their hands on someone else's stuff. Of course, if you say something untrue, but you don't know it's not true, and you get someone's stuff as a result, that's not fraud. And there you have it. Now that we've covered some ways to steal stuff like larceny, robbery, burglary, and fraud, I need to write back to this Nigerian prince I know. Apparently he needs a favor.